Right now, the Berkeley City Council was supposed to be considering whether to reinstate the discretionary use of tear gas and pepper spray for crowd control. This comes on the heels of a protest at People's Park that turned violent yesterday. But the mayor canceled tonight's council meeting at the last minute. Crown Force Teresa Estacio has more. It was canceled because I don't believe that we should repeal our current prohibition on the use of tear gas for crowd control situations. That is Berkeley's mayor, Jesse Erguin, on why Thursday's meeting was quashed. The mayor explains the council was considering lifting the ban due to the need for more help, managing crowds such as in the case on Wednesday, as protesters clash with police at UC Berkeley's new proposed development at People's Park. Informed by the Alameda County Sheriff's Department that because we have a ban on tear gas, that they're not going to send personnel um, if Berkeley called mutually. And that was concerning. Um, and the fact that People's Park is in an urban environment, um, uh, it is very likely that things could spill over onto city streets. Um, and uh, we do not have enough police to effectively manage the situation, so we're going to need help. The mayor says since then he has spoken with the Alameda County Sheriff who promised mutual aid, even with the ban. I remember 2014 when there were a series of protests um, in solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement and our police used quite a bit of tear gas in one night. Um, and I, it, the, just the impact it has on public health and it in, indiscriminately uh, impacting other people. Um, and it also, I think, creates a chilling effect for people engaged in First Amendment activity. Seven people were arrested during Wednesday's protest, and the development project is halted for now. UC Berkeley spokesperson says school officials are trying to figure out the next phase. We need to assess now. We need to think about a different way forward. Given the indisputable fact that we have some individuals in this community who are willing and able to engage in highly dangerous, violent, unlawful activity as a means of expressing their opposition to a project that's meant to benefit the entire community. Teresa Estacio, Cron 4 News.